they burn right there. So, Hey, let's set up the signs, brothers. Set up the signs over there. Hi. hi. I said hi. hi. <laughs> okay, y'all look, I'm Captain Oshaya with Israel United in Christ. We got uh, Captain Isaac over there. Captain, say hi. Shalom, hi, hello. Okay, we got also got a lion right here. He's gonna be reading for us today. And we got Officer your one thing right here, Officer Joel on the camera, and the rest of the brothers from Sierra Leone. Um, I'm gonna open up there at chapter one, verse three. What we come to show you today is that the people of Sierra Leone are actually not Sierra Leones. You actually are the Israelites, according to the Bible. How many of y'all heard of the Israelites? The whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation is about the Israelites. And what's been hid from us were uh, the Bible that be the white man. They spent billions of dollars a year to keep this from you learning. Listen to this, Isaiah chapter one, verse three. Now, how many of y'all are familiar with the prophet Isaiah? Listen to what the prophet Isaiah says. Isaiah chapter one, verse three. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass master's crib. So he said an ox, which is a dumb animal, he knows who his owner is, and a donkey, he knows his homeland, right? But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. That Israel do not know my people don't consider. Our people don't know who they are and they don't know who their God is. A lot of our people in Sierra Leone, hold this image up right here, think that this Jesus the Christ. How many of y'all think this Jesus the Christ? Raise your hand. Okay. Just a few of y'all. 
So how many of y'all think Jesus Christ is a black man? Raise your hand. Uh, somebody said, huh? <laughs> she said, huh? <"Hi>, huh? <laughs> Okay, we got a few people that said they think Jesus Christ is a black man. How many of y'all think he's a white man? Okay, you know he, how many of y'all know he's white then? All right, look, we better open up the Bible. This image right here, I have been to four different African countries. And I see these images right here of Jesus all over the place. Without no biblical proof. I'm going to open up the Bible to Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, and it's going to give you a biblical description of how Jesus Christ looked. Revelation chapter 1, let's start at verse 1, read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Now hold that other side up, because what we're going to do, we're going to do a process of elimination. We're going to hold, now we ain't saying this image is Christ, but we're going to open up the Bible and we're going to see which image fits <laughs> the depiction of Christ's belt. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So he said the revelations of Jesus Christ. Revelation, the root word of revelation means to reveal. So John the revelator is about to reveal Jesus Christ to you. Now let's jump down to verse 12. Because in, in some Christian persons, in some Christian churches, some people say, oh, nobody never seen Christ. Well, listen to this, read. Revelation 1 verse 12. <laughs> and I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So John the Revelator, he said, I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So when he turned around, he said, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Now look at these images which the white man says is Jesus. Do you see seven golden candlesticks anywhere? No! No, you don't see it. Let's read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Another name for Jesus Christ was the Son of Man. Remember when Jesus Christ said the Son of Man came, uh, didn't come eating, eating and drinking, but you call him a, a wine bibble, one that sent him with sinners? So another name for Jesus Christ is the Son of Man. So he said, I turned around, one like unto the Son of Man, read. Whose garment, who clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had a long uh, garment going down with a golden girdle around his waist, read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What people got woolly hair? The white man don't call it woolly hair, woolly hair. he calls it nappy hair. What people on the planet, uh, planet Earth got kinky hair? Who has kinky hair? We got kinky hair. We got woolly hair. We got hair like sheep. Woolly hair is hair like sheep. Do, do not you got hair like sheep? Yes, I got hair like sheep. Now look, read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Is this hair right here like sheep? No. No, it's hair like, not like sheep, but is this hair like sheep? Yes. So say this, uh, read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So the hair on his head and his face, his beard, it was white and woolly, as white as snow. What a white woolly hair on here? No. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you, they had to be confused about Jesus Christ's look. He got blood hair right here. He got uh, brown hair right there. And then he had, not, he had dirty blood in another picture. So what color is his, is his hair? The white man gives you different images of Jesus, but you can't open up the Bible and you can't find this image nowhere. Now look, let's go back to the Bible, read. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now let's see why I say his eyes was as a flame of fire. Talk about the whites of his eyes. Go to Genesis 49, verse 12. Do his eyes look like they're as a flame of fire? Look at the whites of his eyes. Matter of fact, even if you look at the pupils, this pupil right here is a light brown, these pupils dark brown, this pupil's light blue, so they're confused, and the whites of his eyes are not red. Listen. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. It says his eyes shall be red with wine. When you look at this image, you'll see that the whites of his eyes look red. The whites of his eyes look red. Which one is more, so far from what we went through, 
Which one look closer like Jesus to you? This image or that image? This one right here? Yes. Okay, let's go back. Read. Revelation 1 verse 14 again. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. I'm talking about the whites of his eyes as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. Anybody know what color brass is? Brass or brass. What color is brass? Brass is brown. Brass is brown. This is a derivative of brown. It says feet like unto fine brass, read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if I take a piece of brass and put it in an oven, what does it get? It gets black. It gets darker. Anything you take and put it into the oven, it gets dark. So if his feet was dark, what color was his face? It was black. He was dark. Your face, your feet the same color as your face? Yes. My feet the same color as my face. Now look, I'm going to get another one. We'll go to 10 years, uh, Daniel's 10 verse 5. So this is how John the Revelator described Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to show you how the prophet Daniel described Jesus Christ. Listen. Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. Then I lift up mine eyes and look and behold a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. Notice John the Revelator said he had a golden girdle around his waist. Now Daniel said he had a golden girdle around his waist. Notice both of them saying they seen the same thing. Wait. His body also was like the burl. He had a green garment on. Burl is the color green. So he had a green garment on. Read. And his face as the appearance of lightning. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Remember John the Revelator said his eyes was like a flame of fire. Now Daniel said his eyes was like a lamp of fire. Notice that these two prophets are describing Jesus Christ the same way. Why couldn't the white man go into the Bible and say, look, oh, if Daniel said this, it's John saying that, let's give them the proper depiction. Why did they depict themselves as Jesus Christ? Let's keep going, though. And his eyes were as a lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. It said like in color to polished brass. Polished brass is brown. Read. And, his, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And he spoke loud. So I said his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Just like in America, they called the blacks in America, at one point in time they called them colored people. They called them colored people. So from hearing what Daniel the prophet said and John the, uh, John the prophet said, what color is Jesus Christ, y'all? What color is Jesus Christ from what you heard at the Bible? Say it loud. Black. Say it loud. Black. Okay, I'm going to say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Black. Okay, now look. How many of y'all heard of Adam? How many of y'all heard of Adam? Raise your hand if you heard of Adam in the Bible. The first man on earth, Adam. Okay, let's see what color Adam is according to the Bible. Get Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Genesis. Chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. It said the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Brown. It's brown. Matter of fact, it's different shades of brown. That's why a lot of us different, you know, I'm, I'm darker than some of y'all. Some of y'all lighter than, uh, some of y'all lighter than me. Why? Because there's different shades of brown. When you go into the ground, sometimes you get a light brown like that. You get a dark brown. You get different shades of brown. So let's read that again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So what color was Adam according to the Bible? He was black. He was brown. Or black say brown. He was a black man. Now look, let's go from there. King Solomon. How many of y'all heard of King Solomon, the wisest man on the planet Earth? Okay, y'all love King Solomon. Let's see what King, how King Solomon described himself in the Bible. Read. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. Hold on. That's in the Bible. Read that again. I am black. Now call the chapter and read it. Listen, y'all, read. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 5. So this is in the Bible. Listen to what King Solomon says. Read. I am black, but comely. He said, I'm black, but comely. Comely means beautiful. He said, I am black, 
but beautiful. Read that again. I am black but comely. You say I'm black but comely. I'm black. Hold on, not say and comely, bro. Read that again. I am black I said, but comely. Yeah, I'm black but beautiful. That's what he was saying. I am black but beautiful. Finish it up. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar. Kadar means dark skinned. Right. So what color was King Solomon according to the Bible? Yeah. Okay, all praises. Now look, the prophet Job. How many of y'all heard of the prophet Job? Y'all heard of Job? Let's get Job. Because in church they tell you Job was a white man, Solomon was a white man, Jesus Christ was a white man. But according to the Bible, the Bible is saying different. Let's listen, read. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Hold on, what Job say? My skin is black upon me. Did y'all hear that? What did Job say, y'all? He said what? My skin is black upon me. Yeah, that's in the Bible. Did y'all know that was in the Bible? See, you're supposed to be real happy right now. Because what you about to find out today, that you are the people of the Bible. Now look. How many of y'all heard of the Jews? Yes. So you got people in the land of Israel right now saying that they're the Jews, right? And what color are they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. They got kind of a white man yelling her. <laughs> hey, that's correct. The so-called kind of white man, he ain't white. He actually red because the blood showed through his skin. We call them red people in America. I know y'all call them yellow people here. So now look, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you the true color of the Jews. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. It's the book, it's the book of Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. So it's talking about the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah is in a state of mourning all over the earth. Read. They are black. What color is the tribe of Judah? They are black. The Jews are what? They are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. This is in the Bible. The people that's in Israel now that's claiming to be Jews are not the Jews. Let's get that in Revelation 2 and 9. Now, I know y'all like, hold on. If all these men in the Bible is black, what happened to our people? How did our people go into slavery? Why did our people go into slavery? Why is the white man coming to the country taking our resources? The Chinese coming taking the resources? The Arabs coming taking the resources? Why do all nations treat us like Jack? I'm going to show you why in a minute. Read. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And both sides say, I know your works. He said, I know the tribulations that you're going through, and I can see your poverty. All over the earth, our people are impoverished. He said, but you're rich. The reason why we're rich is because Jesus Christ came and died for you and you only. He didn't die for the white man, the Chinese, the Arabs, or the East Indians. He only died for you. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. He said, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. Blasphemy means lies. He said, I know the lies of them that say they are Jews. Read. And are not. He said, and are not. So them people, the yellow people, the red people that's in Israel claim to be Jews. Christ said they what? And are not. He said they are not Jews. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. He said, but they are the synagogue of Satan. So the people that's in Israel, what do God call them? They call them the synagogue of Satan. They the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Now let's see what happened to our people to end up in the conditions that they in. I know some of y'all, how many of y'all in here from the ten, uh, the Timley tribe? Who from the Timley tribe? Okay, who from the Midday tribe? Who from Midday? Who from Como? Who from Mandinga? Okay, now look, in the Bible, in the Bible, you can, in the Bible, you can't find none of these tribes. In the Bible, you find the 12 tribes of Israel, which make up, uh, what is that, right here? Y'all can put them sides down. Which make up Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulun, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Ishakai, and the them the 12 tribes that you find in the Bible. They make up the 12 tribes of Israel. These are God's chosen people. Now look, I'm going to show you something. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Now what I'm about to go to, you can put it down. 
When you go to, I'm going to ask y'all something. Where did the first five books of Moses take place? In Africa. In Africa. Where's Israel located? Hold it up. Israel right here is located right here on the map. Israel is part of Africa. Northeast Africa. It was the land of Canaan. Canaan was a son of Ham. The Israelites are sons of Shem. So, let's read this, man. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses gave the Israelites, he said, look, you'll be blessed for obedience, but it's going to come to pass when you don't want to listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said, you don't keep my commandments, all these curses going to come upon the Israelites and overtake the Israelites. Let's get one curse. Read. 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It said, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. It's talking about another race of people. Did not your sons and daughters, your ancestors' sons and daughters, was given to another race of people? Did not that happen? Did not the people in Sierra Leone go into slavery and to take it to places like America, Trinidad, Jamaica, Haiti, uh, England? Did not that happen? Listen to what the Bible said. The Bible said that was going to happen if we break the commandments of God. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Hold that sign up. When our son, hold stop right there. When our sons and daughters was given to another people, they was put on auction blocks. And it was sold to work on slave plantations. Right. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. He said, thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You will have no power to get your sons and daughters back. So when the British came to Sierra Leone to take our people in slavery, did we have power to get our sons and daughters back? No, we had no power to get them back. We still got people that was from uh, Sierra Leone taken to slavery uh, in Britain. They, uh, they kids growing up there now. A lot of people was taken from America. They still stuck in America now. They don't got no power to leave. Look, let's get through them. Let's keep going. Read. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land. And hey, what is, uh, it said the fruit of thy land. That's talking about natural resources. What are the natural resources that Sierra Leone is known for? Diamonds, gold, bauxite. So look, yeah, look, y'all known for 36 natural resources. Why is our country so poor though? Why is the country of Sierra Leone so poor? Listen to what the Bible gonna say. Thy, the fruit of thy land. Now it ain't our fault. Well, we did break the commandments of God, but listen to what God said, read. Right? The fruit of thy land and all thy labor. The fruit of thy land, talking about your resources, your diamond, your gold, your foresight, read. Right? And the, the fruit of thy land and of thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. He said a nation which you know is not eat up. When the white man came to Sierra Leone, we didn't know them. But guess what they did? They took the diamonds, they robbed us of our gold, they robbed us as our bull site, and guess what they did? They took it back to their countries, and they built it up. Read on. And thou shalt be, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. God said they're gonna take your resources, and you're gonna be oppressed and crushed always. Read. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes. Do, do, do not you get mad when they come to the country and take the resources? God said you was gonna be mad. I'm mad that they come to the country and take the resources. Look, let's read on. Verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. And then after they take our resources and destroy the country and try to leave us impoverished, it says now we become astonishment. All nations look at us as astonishment like we can't get on our feet. If they stop stealing from us, we can get on our feet. We can build up the country of Sierra Leone. We can build up Liberia. We can build up Ghana. Read on. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. A byword is being out of your name. Just like they call us Sierra Leoneans, we are not Sierra Leoneans. Even being called Timne, Mende, Kono, them bywords. Because God called you Israel. He called you the Israelites. Read on. And a, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Now when the white man came 
to Sierra Leone. How did he transport the slaves to America, Haiti, like, uh, uh, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now listen, y'all, listen, pay attention. I'm going to show you that the slave ships is prophesied in the Bible. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It says the Lord going to bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is the same as another word, meaning it's synonymous. It's a synonym for another word. Give me Exodus 20, verse 2. It, Egypt is the same as another word in the Bible. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20. Yes, sir. So it's Exodus, chapter 20, and verse... Damn. <laughs> I, am, I am the Lord thy God. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. It said, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What did God just call Egypt? The what? House of bondage. The house of bondage. bondage. All right, let's go right back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into That's Egypt hard. again. Oh, what? What is another name for Egypt? The house of bondage. So he said the Lord going to bring you into bondage or slavery again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. You see that? The slave ships is prophesied in the Bible. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. He said you weren't going to see your homeland, Israel, no more again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Where were those slave ships land? Give me this right here. From Sierra Leone, wherever those slave ships go, he said you was going to be sold to your enemies for what? For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Buy you is all Quaker English for save you. How many of y'all know about what happened in, in 1898 with Bobby Ray? Is I'm saying his name right? Bobby Ray? Bobby Ray. How many of y'all know about what happened? With the British colonial empire tried to tax our people here in Sierra Leone. Right. Bobby Ray said, look, hey, we ain't paying y'all no taxes. So he went to war with them. The British couldn't overcome our people for a while until they did what? They set fire to the forest area. And when they set fire to the forest area, it left us open for them to take us out with their guns. Right. They can't fight with us one-on-one. -on -one. They need the gun to fight with us. So Bobby